Previously, we told you about Lizzie the Pony and the tumour she needed to have removed. Now, thanks to your kind donations, we are pleased to show you her progress after the operation. We're here at Newmarket Equine Hospital and we're talking to Matt Smith, who is the operating surgeon. Good afternoon, Matt. Good afternoon. So, we're here with Lizzie. She's, um, she's looking great. How did the operation go? Yeah, operation went really well. Um, and she had a large tumour on her left ovary, which we had to remove. Um, and it, it was about the size of a, a melon, um, the tumour, so it's quite big. And it's got a lot of blood vessels. Um, which we had to carefully tie off individually, but it, it really went very well. Um, it was all quite routine, and um, Chima came out no problems. And then, then since then, she's she's really done great um, in her recovery, been very comfortable, and she's looking great, really happy with her, and ready for her to, to go home. So for a horse of um, about Lizzie's age and, um, and size, how long do you think it would be for her to uh, fully recover? Yeah, sure. She, she's going to take a few months, but it's really down to the speed of the healing of the surgical incision. And with it being on the abdomen, it needs to gain strength before she can um, really start to, to exercise normally, and albeit what she will do out in the field. But um, it will take a few months for that to gain um, its full strength. Um, but in herself now, she feels absolutely fine, and we're really only going to restrict her just to, to protect her incision and make sure she doesn't have any complications. Has she been behaving herself while she's been here? Because she's been a little bit boisterous back home. Yeah, well, I think um, we've, we've done her behaviour the world of good by taking out the, um, the ovary, and, uh, yeah, she's been much better. Um, now, when our, our local vet, Tom, uh, mm. was saying that in circumstances like this, when the, uh, there's a tumour on the ovary, it can produce hormones that make a female think she's a male. Yeah, absolutely, and um, it's quite unique in that sense, but it, it can produce testosterone, which is the male sex hormone, so they can display all sorts of strange signs, and you'll often find a female or a mare starting to show um, aggressive tendencies, aggressive tendencies <laughs> and sometimes aggressive, sometimes they can even start mounting their, their fellow mares, so oh they can do all sorts of things. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Matt, we're so grateful for uh, what you and your staff have done, and um, obviously we're even more grateful for the, uh, the kind donations that we've received um, from everybody who, uh, who has seen Lizzie's appeal yeah. and, uh, and given a contribution towards her operation. And, um, yeah, we'd just like to thank everybody there. Um, Matt, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thanks thank you much. very much. Being led by Hillside veterinary nurse Sharon, it's time for Lizzie to begin the journey home. Goodbye everybody, thank you for having us. Not long now, soon be home. There, that didn't take long did it? Back at Hillside's veterinary unit, Lizzie is glad to be home again. And who's that keeping her company? Ah, oh, it's her friend Magic. Hello Magic. Time for a bite to eat before some exercise. It must be good to have Lizzie back. Did you miss her? Yes. A beautiful day for a walk and a nice welcome home.
When working with animals, you never really know what's going to happen next. Lizzie's update. Take one. Action. We're here at Newmarket Equine Hospital and we're talking to Matt Smith, who is the operating surgeon. Good afternoon, Matt. Good afternoon. Um, now, you've got Lizzie here. How's she doing? Yeah, she, she's oh, Lizzie. Awesome. Cut. Lizzie's update. Take two. Action. Myself and um, one of the other hospital surgeons, Mark, who, uh, who helps out doing the surgery. It looks like Lizzie's trying to go in for a close-up here. <laughs> Hi there, Lizzie. Um, now, for a horse like, um, like his, Lizzie, how long would you expect her to be fully recovered? Well, it's, it's going to take um, a few months, but it's mainly because of the, um, the surgical incisions and the time they need to heal and gain She's got the camera strength. cut! <laughs> Lizzie's update. Take three. Action! Focus in on Matt. I'll just carry on. That's it. I'll, I'll just I'll ask you that again. She's sneaking around the back. Cut. <laughs> Let's do it again. Lizzie's update. Take four. <laughs> Action. To show um, aggressive tendencies. Aggressive tendencies <laughs> and sometimes aggressive. Sometimes they can even start mounting their their fellow mares. So oh they can do all sorts of things. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have to stop. She's throwing things on the floor now. Thanks, Lizzie.